Did you beep? <laughs> He's waving, he wants to get on the camera. <laughs> what a legend. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Username Kate, welcome back to our channel. So today, something slightly unorthodox, I am on the back of Mike on the Seat Mo. Now, the Seat Mo is the car manufacturer's Seat's electric scooter, moped offering. As far as I'm aware, they're kind of the only car manufacturer that's kind of delved into providing an electric scooter. So we've been sent it to try, and that's exactly what we're doing. So the reason that I'm on the back of the scooter at the moment is because I'm suffering with labyrinthitis. It's a weird condition that affects the inner ear and makes you feel drunk from waking to going to bed. So riding, driving is not advisable. And to be quite honest, I can't even walk in a straight line at the moment. So. You know, the world doesn't stop just when you're ill. You've got to get the content somehow, so we thought we'd switch it up a little. And Mike is chauffeuring me to Delve, where there's a nice cafe that does an all-day breakfast, and it's 15 miles away. This scooter has a reported range in eco mode of 85 miles, but with a more realistic range of 50 to 60 miles when ridden in the city and the sport modes. Did you beep? <laughs> He's waving, he wants to get on the camera. <laughs> what a legend. What? Well, what is it on now? I think it's on 64. Okay. Well, we, we will have only... Right. <laughs> we'll have only done about four miles. Yeah. So... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> so the bike is driven and powered by an electric motor which is found in the hub and it produces nine kilowatts of power. That is the equivalent of a 12 brake horsepower 125. The bike has three modes. You've got eco, you've got city, and you've got sport. Now with the eco mode, that is where you're gonna get the most range. So with the eco mode, it basically restricts the power that you have available to you. And by doing so, the theory is that your range will be higher because you're not going as fast. So Mike actually prefers the city mode because there is no regen. So it just makes for a smoother, easier, more comfortable ride, would you say? Yes. Yeah. And then in sport mode, you've got full power. You're utilizing the whole nine kilowatts or 12 brake horsepower. But the regen, which you do get in sport mode, is quite heavy. And he says that the regen feels more extreme in sport mode than it does in the eco mode, which also has regen. Some more feedback that I've had from Mike is that this is possibly one of the quickest electric bikes that we've ever had loaned to us. He said it's the easiest electric bike we've had to ride because it's got, it feels like it's got more power. All the other stuff that like that was quickest. So cruising is easier on this than yeah. a lot of the other bikes we've tried. Yeah, because a lot of the others you're doing like 40 and 50 and you pull out and that's it, there's no more. Yeah. Where this will just happily pull you. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, so I think we can both agree that suspension is not the best. It doesn't feel oh, like there's much damping at all going on with the front suspension. What, are we, are we actually nearly at Delft? Yeah. Ah, so we're nearly here. We're in a national. So when we set off, Mike, was it showing 100% or was it showing like 99, 100%? It was 99 around 7 
Mike's just uh, flicking it into sport mode. And it's still pulling at plus 50. What do you reckon the top speed is if we get a straight? Uh, it's limited to 62. Ah. So Mike's just said that in sport mode it's limited and we're seeing 62 on the dash and it won't go any faster. Let me just hop off then. Why? Oh. <laughs> <sighs> you made me laugh. We went the wrong way. Yeah. Having said that, Mike, I feel like this is mainly designed realistically for commuters and and people that live in a city not people that want to smash out top speed records on nationals <laughs> so just on them twisty lanes then we literally just use 10 percent battery mike how do you find the riding position comfortable. what quite comfortable quite comfortable say as a passenger the seat is very slippy oh. ah, he, sc he scared me then him family just chilling in road as you do I suppose there's no footpath but still. <laughs> Yeah, he wasn't bothered about his health, was he? About his survival. We are here. Oh, just every time. <laughs> every time. Oh well, as long as uh, oh, you could use your reverse here, Mike. <laughs> yeah, it has a reverse. <laughs> wow. Oh, this is quite nice. I've never been here before. Woohoo! Right, Mike, before we switch it off, what's the bat- Oh. <laughs> switch it back on, what's the battery on? 58%. 58%. We actually had soya milk, so I've got a soya milk tea. Right. <laughs> I end up putting it all over my face. <laughs> yeah, you end up with more in your beard, don't you? Mm. Oh, it looks so good. So I've just finished my breakfast and I can't believe I've never been here before. It's gorgeous. I'm going to put the location in the video um, description below, but just have a look at this. Okay, so we're on our way back from Delft and we're heading home. I was going to walk you around the Sayat Mo whilst I was at Delft, but then the Mo kind of got surrounded by scuba divers. So I'll show you around the scooter from the back garden. <laughs> Classy. We just overtook a caravan, so it's got overtaking capabilities. So on that stretch of country road then, we're in sport mode, Mike hit 61 miles an hour and now we're back in city mode and it's showing 44% battery. So from fully dead to fully charged, say I say it'll take about 6 to 8 hours to achieve that full charge. I've done my research on the Sayat Mo, the rumour on the street is that for every 100 mile you cover on the CMO 
is going to cost around a pound a bloody pound for 100 miles now that is wild i know battery shelf life is a massive concern to a lot of people and one thing that i have read in my research is that after a thousand full charges the battery operates at 97% capacity which I personally thought was pretty good on to warranty two year warranty for the scooter four year warranty for the battery now one of the interesting things which is often overlooked in these kind of vlogs when it comes to electric scooters or electric motorcycles is the insurance as you guys are probably aware Bikeshare is my main channel sponsor. They are an insurance broker and they basically scour all sources to find you the best price on your insurance. They're a five star rated insurance broker and with every policy you do get a hundred thousand pounds worth of legal fee cover in the event that you should need it. I got on the phone to my contact Nick and asked him how much would it be to insure me on the Seat Mo fully comprehensive for a year? What he came back with really shocked me actually. Based on the fact that I'm a 30 year old female who resides in Bolton with a maximum no claims discount, he came back with the price of £900. Now that is just wild. It's an electric 125 with a price tag of £5,800. What's going on? So Nick came back to me basically said with it being a brand new bike and a, a brand new electric bike at that for the moment that was the best quote that he could get for me. He said of course everyone is different so if you are looking at any electric scooter not just a Seat Mo I would definitely advise that you guys get some quotes because it's kind of uncharted water a little bit at the moment. I do get that one pound for a hundred miles is ridiculously cheap, but if that's completely negated and offset by a redonkulous insurance, might be something to consider. Right guys, well we're fresh back in from a ride on the Seat Mo. Here it is in all its glory. It's quite a cute looking thing. So we'll start at the front. In fact, let's see what it looks like with the daytime running lights on. There we go. And that's it with its main beam on as well. Okay, so panning down. We've got the unbranded caliper here, but we do have CBS instead of ABS. So we've got the combined braking system. You do have a single disc on that. If we pan round again, a disc on the rear and an unbranded caliper. On this side, you have the shock, the rear suspension unit, and it is on this single sided swing arm, which frees up this side and just makes it look really neat that's what the rear leds look like pretty nice so a few things that i want to talk about with the mo so here you've got your battery percentage here you've got how much energy is going out and how much energy is coming back in through the regen so in effect it's like the throttle and almost like engine braking which you see in eco and sport mode. With city mode, you don't have the region, you just have a coasting feature, if you will. There you've got your range, you've got your odometer, you've got your miles an hour, you've got your time, your temperature. On here, you've got an info button. So if we press that at the bottom, it just rotates through things. So levers, you've got adjustability with the levers, which is quite good. And you've also got a reverse button here, which I'll show you how that works in a second. But for now, let's have a look under the seat. So in here, we've got the manual. We've got a little disc lock as well. There is so much room. There's reportedly room for two helmets in here. 
So one of the handy things about this scooter is the battery itself is actually fully removable. So how you do that, you make sure that the side stand is down, the ignition is on, and you press and hold both brakes in. It says seat open on the LCD dash, makes a noise, and then this opens. There's a release latch, which you pull upwards, which releases the battery. And then it pulls out like so. So then you have a battery that's on wheels. So you can push it wherever you need to go. If you have an office and you want to charge it in there, you can do that. And then if you do have to leave this outside, I mean, an electric scooter with out a battery it's kind of a big theft deterrent, right? It's redundant without it. So if you want to get this back in, it's got a shelf-like mechanism, so you just got to line it up correctly. And then in it goes. Bob that down, shut this, and you're good to go. It also has a reverse gear, so to show you that, What you would do, switch the bike into movement mode so that you can rev it and it'll do something. You pull the left brake in and you press and hold mode. It beeps and says ready. Then you press the green reverse button. You have to press and hold it. It beeps like a dumper truck backing up. And then you just use your throttle. Just like so. Then if you want to go forward, you simply release. There's a D on the dash for drive and off you go. So what do you guys think of the Seat Mo? Let me know in the comments below. Oh my God, I'm starting to rhyme all the time. I'm a poet and I didn't know it. I really want to know because you know what? It's one of the fastest electric scooters that are comparable with a 125 that we've ridden or that Mike's ridden. I haven't really got to give it a good run yet because everything's spinning. The components, everything seems robust, nothing seems rattly, there's you know not much noise from it with plastic bits clunking and stuff like that. Sport mode and city mode are pretty rapid, it looks nice, it's aesthetically pleasing, I think it looks pretty cute. There are accessories available for it like a phone holder right in the centre of the handlebar setup, uh, you can get a taller screen, you can get a top box, so you've got plenty of accessory options. Like I say, if you guys have enjoyed this, please feel free to hit that subscribe button. It helps my channel massively and we're growing at a rapid rate and I'm so excited for everyone to be part of that. And yes, until the next time, well, hopefully I'll be more compass mentis when we next see each other. But yeah, until the next time, take care.